All right, sorry about that hiccup. So if, if they have the tolerance, we could get somewhere, but it's going to be a while. A long while. That's too bad. Maybe. The tolerance is there. Can I trade you a worse beam for it? Hmm. No, I don't have enough money to make a deal like that. Um, my good thing is too disproportionately good relative to the value of everything else. The Imperial Bank, it takes a while to build is the only problem with it. Okay, 111 it is. I'm okay with that. I don't really, like I mean it's production, but I might need a very good gun. And beams have nice range and stuff, so. The only thing I'm turning, yeah, no, I'm good with this. I feel great about it. Okay. I don't really like that they have it just sitting in my space like that. And I no longer have the means to repel this. So the fighters are going to maraud, or the, pardon me, the pirates are just going to maraud. Oh boy, and the timing's so bad that I actually might lose my colony ship. I'm going to do this just to stall it out for a bit. Um, got a production of 17. Ever since the game decided to erase my fleet. Boy, I didn't realize how heavily shielded these things were and how lucrative going at them from the front would be. Fusion engines, I would, this is a pretty good ship. It's pretty expensive anyway. And just a ton of laser cannons. The only thing going my way. Is that they might come to Earth if they're following that freighter. Okay, our first leader. Fifteen less fifteen percent less hull damage, hey? And we get slave pits. I finally get a leader, and it's one I don't really want. We'll get a chance to make that decision later, but eh. Okay. Well, I was hoping that would not happen. So, you've got free time, hey? Tempted to tweak the glass cannon here. 
Actually, you know what? To the shipyard, everybody. We're doing more ship design and we're gonna try creating our first uh, ship just to torment the enemy. So, double damage to hulls is why I like the fusion beam so much. And not bad damage to shields while we're at it. And pretty good accuracy. If only we had some way of cutting... Like, the real damn problem is that Corsair. And I think our... I think we're just gonna have to fight fire with fire on this. And they have superior... Well, no. They have lots of good tech on their ship anyway. So we can get ourselves a carrier. Yeah, I can't use my iron side carrier that I designed in a different game. That's fine. Who needs it? So, get ourselves some nuclear reactors. And now... This might help protect us against fighters. I'm not sure if the minis are any good for something like that. Just going with flak is also kind of tempting, but they didn't really help our starbase, well, I don't know, that much. These guys are super weak, so I don't know, they might be might be okay against fighters. Tell you what, let's just stick with what we love. And I'm not gonna go crazy on the upgrades. Not worth it. Kind of worth it. Yeah, that's worth it. Okay. That's a start. Might as well take care of some of the remaining systems as well. Uh, need a propulsion to be taken care of. I always just go with the biggest possible engines. Huge power deficit, that's okay. And I'm actually forgetting all about our del our delightful solar armor, which, again, not huge power output, but it can make the difference because we're probably going to lose it at about the same time as we lose certain sides of the ship. So you can cheat a little bit with it. Explosive weapons, and eh, we'll be okay. Seconds to empty two, not good enough. Don't think I want to throw rockets into the mix. We'll just beam this thing up. Need a fair bit more power before we're gonna to be totally stable. I'll just, you know what? We'll just have this thing designed to hunker down. If that's enough. Not quite. Need just a little bit more power generation, which is fine. Infinite. All right. We've got ourselves kind of an unusual ship. I don't really know how effective it'll be, but I say that about a lot of things. So... Oh, what will we call this fine new carrier? 
I don't know, post in the comments section if you want a ship named after you. Uh, you're going to have to do something quite formidable if you want a... <laughs> this is an Enigma class carrier. I don't know if it'll be any good. Uh, if you want um, an entire ship class, well, you're going to have to do something pretty remarkable. Uh, we'll just get the Enigma on the roster. Never even bu built a bar fighter, but uh, I don't like the sounds of it being entirely by itself, so... There we go. And this is kind of what I was hoping for. All right. Hopefully the Starbase has enough firepower on its own. If not, I mean, we'll get the carrier kind of soon. Oh, lots of action at Earth. Go for the little one first. You can set something's engagement range. For the purposes of our Starbase, we just want it to uh, shoot as soon as it possibly can, but for your ships you may want to adjust how quickly they move in. I change of plans just because they're serpentining their way in. hammer on the front. That is, yeah, perfect. I did not realize just how vulnerable those Corsairs were from the front. The Raiders are the exact opposite, but when those rockets hit, we should be okay. Oh, he's hanging in there. Sorry about the crappy view, everybody. There we go. And the years. The star bases may seem powerful, but man, numbers can change that very quickly. Also, when you're building ships, it's important not just to look at the damage output. Try doing a quick DPS calculation for yourself. Um, because often... Delightful. Um, often weapons have very high cooldowns, like 10 seconds or so. So you just want to be wary of that going in. Okay. Really important to get that built. Oh yeah, the Paris system. Ultra poor, no thanks, and no resources to speak of. At least we can scout one more system before we have to turn back. Oh, the automated factory. It's pretty expensive though. Uh, this is another really difficult decision branch. Um, the computer is sometimes really reliable for researching uh, biospheres, so I'm kind of tempted to cheat this one. With taxes, you can prop. Eh. I think I'm going to have to sooner or later go all in on the uh, on the asteroid mine or the asteroid strategy. 
uh, but we've got a couple branches that are disproportionately advanced, so let's see what we can do. I'm just going to go for Imperial Bank. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to trade for it if this does not work out instantly anyway. I don't really like either of these techs all that much. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can get a trade backed. Then you will like me. Yeah, that ain't happening. Boy, we're just not going to meet in the middle. That's okay. We had an okay starting neighbor. Really? We're at least hanging in there in the tech department. And we're going to be running out of uh, freighters kind of soon, so... All right, uh, I guess that'll be enough. The Black System. Mr. Black. Not looking promising, and they're going to have a long cryo sleep back home. All right, Imperial Bank. Bank. It's preventing us from making a trade that... Eh. Plus 10 approval everywhere, hey? Okay. Gain the assimilator's trait. Interesting. Uh, for what I have in mind, I will just require this, okay? But not yet, not yet. What's the rush? Uh, defensive flares again, kind of tempting. I think I've talked them up already. And there's some weapons further down the line that I'm kind of big on, so. Yeah, we'll start with fusion power though. We've got enough research points. Again, I've gone about a whole bunch of things in a really terrible way. This is truly terrible. Oh man, we gotta make that number one. There's no shortage of things for them to do. Just move them over there for now. And we'll have a delightful new ship very shortly. Hopefully this one doesn't get erased. Okay. Yep, you'll do. Try lithium. It's speed on the strategy map. That's really valuable. having some financial issues, so that'll be uh, hopefully not a problem. And I'm just going to check the diplomacy screen real quick, just because uh, maybe we can have something good. Hmm. Nope, not happening. Trade rights? And money? Okay. Really question your definition of 35%, but... 
That's like 70. Well, we'll just have to be happy with not having any deals in place with them right now. Uh, just going to do a quick survey of the planets again just to make sure this is good enough. Yeah, you know what? It'll do. And the resource will be nice. Okay, I'm feeling all right about this. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here, and the next one, hopefully we uh, colonize uh, Pissy Gandalf, and after that, who knows? Hopefully not war against us.